everybody, Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike here, and we're going to go through a very quick pathophysiology and pharmacology question. What is the question? Well, the question is, a 28-year-old female presents with severe chest pain and dyspnea, basically meaning shortness of breath. The doctor is considering a pulmonary embolism as a diagnosis. We'll talk about that in a minute. As the attending, you know that the PE is most likely originating from... Now, here you can see that there may be more than one answer. Here are the five answers. Popliteal artery common iliac vein, abdominal aorta, pulmonary vein, and femoral vein. So Matt, how do we approach this question? So this question is basically asking you some functional anatomy. So for an embolism to occur, what's the definition of an embolism? That is a clot that originates somewhere else. And moves. And so moves to that area. In this case, it's a pulmonary embolism, so it's an embolism that is stuck in the lungs. So to get to the lungs, it has to have come to the lungs via the pulmonary arteries. So let's go backwards. So it has to be in one of these blue vessels going all the way back to the heart, which is a possibility, or all the way back to the body, which could be from the upper body or down to the lower body. So it has to have come from one of those, one of those origins to get to here. Okay. So now let's have a look at what are the options are. So starting with number A, this is the popliteal artery. Number A. So your popliteal artery is down in your legs, down to your lower legs. So it's blood going to your legs. So if a clot was to form there, it would only get stuck in your legs and cause probably some kind of ischemic damage to your legs, not to your lungs. So that's not an answer? So that's not the answer. All right. Going to the common iliac vein, we know that this is a vein that is drained out of your lower legs. So the common iliac vein is a combination or a, a confluence of your internal iliac and your external iliac, which is external iliac is draining your legs, the internal is draining your pelvis. So together, this could have formed, and this, if you keep following up, could create a PE. So, it could so be that is a possibility. So that's a tick. The abdominal aorta is the big one that comes out of your left side of your heart, going down to your lower body. So if it's going down here, it would have to eventually start it here. And if that was the case, it would basically get lodged again somewhere in your lower body, but that would cause ischemic damage to your lower body. It's, there's no way that it can get back up into your lungs. So that's not an answer. So that's not an answer. Okay. Pulmonary veins. So this is a tricky one because it sounds like it's in the lungs and it sounds like it's a vein, so it's going to the lungs. But in fact, the pulmonary vein is on this side. Because remember, vein, by definition, is bringing blood to the heart. So for the pulmonary vein, it would have started here and it's flowing away from the lungs towards the heart. So it's definitely not that one. So it can't be that one. It's probably most likely here going to end up as a stroke or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at last, we're left with the femoral vein, which is a vein that's draining your legs. Again, this could originate here. So if you follow that up, it could go all the way back and also stuck. So pulmonary vein, uh, femoral vein, sorry, could also be an answer. That's right. So, so we've this... got common iliac vein and femoral vein. Is there one that's more likely than another? So when we think of a, of a PE, it always starts from a, a DVT, which is a deep vein thrombosis. And this is usually caused by three things, stasis, coagulation, or injury. Now, in terms of stasis, the most common location for your stasis to occur is your lower body, because it's against gravity. So 70% of DVTs, therefore thrown off a clot for a PE, is gonna come from your lower body, and about 5% from the upper body. The rest of the percentages, we don't know where they come from. What's the last part of that triangle? Stasis, so coagulability, co stasis, and injury, vessel injury. This is the, tri the triad. Increase any of those three, you're likely to get a DVT. Yep, and then, then if it was to break off, it could go to your lungs and cause a PE. Hopefully that helps.